What's up guys, welcome back to Virtual Reality. Today there is the next episode of the VR and AR weekly news. So let's check out the list. What do we have? Gamescom 2019 of course in Cologne, Germany. I will report about um, some VR games I tried there. Then we have um, VR special sales on Steam. Uh, news to uh, Oculus Connect 6, Westworld Awakening, an add-on for Vanishing Realms, Insomnia Games news, and I think this is a lot of stuff to see. My name is Voodoo, you can find everything about VR and AR on this channel, so subscribe, hit the bell and don't miss anything. Thanks to my sponsors, Woodgoes VR, Oppermann Events, Peter Wasmeyer, Cyronics, Andy DeFelser and VR Ambassador. Let's have some fun with the weekly news and let's go! Voodoo.de So yeah, the Gamescom 2019, it's, it's not known as the um, party where a lot of VR stuff is shown. Uh, last year there was not really much VR and this year one could mean that uh, there is still not much VR, but there was a lot of stuff to try and to see in the business area. And this is uh, very sad, I think, because if you don't have this special press ticket to get into the business area. You will not see anything of that. And I have no idea why they are doing that. I mean, of course they, they want the YouTubers to show that, but why can't just the normal visitors see that? This is very sad, I don't like this. However, <laughs> I had the chance to try all this stuff in the business area. This one here is Akron. As you can see, there are two screens. The This screen here is one of the up to eight players with a smartphone, they play a squirrel. And this here, this is the screen of the VR player. The VR player is a tree and he must see that the other players, the squirrels, don't steal his acrons. This is totally fun. It can be played up to eight players on the smartphone and one player on the VR headsets, a lot of fun. I will show a longer gameplay um, soon on my channel. This will be very interesting. This was one of the games on Gamescom. The next game I tried was Budget Cuts 2. You've already seen that on my channel and this is uh, like the first part, but uh, much, <laughs> much harder. So uh, if, if you, if you try this game, then you have to coordinate all the controls and stuff. You have the, the bow and here you have a device you can pick up stuff and and the robots are so fast. I, I'm totally confused. I don't know what to do anymore in this situation. Very, very hard. So uh, yeah, however, if you like these hard games and uh, yeah, stealth games, you should really give it a try. It's, it's awesome and if you like the first part, you, you need the second as well. You, you, as you can see here, we have a crossbow now and we can kill the robots much better. Uh, I died again. <laughs> yeah, check out the gameplay on my channel and you will see more about this game. Budget Cuts 2. So this one is a cool adventure. The Curious Tale of Stolen Pets. So look at this, it's so cute. We have a word, we can rotate it and watch it from, from every um, direction. And we have to find the stolen pets. And for this, we have to solve some puzzles, like finding some, some uh, stars or pushing some hidden buttons. Here is one of the pets and, and uh, it's so cool. So there are also some small doors where the little guys are walking around and it's totally made for kids, very cute, very awesome. You can find the gameplay soon on my channel and there you will find more information. The Curious Tale of Stolen Pets. Don't the Rabbit Hole is the next game and this is very interesting because it happens in 360 degree around you. So we have small rooms where we solve some puzzles and everything is located in the Alice in Wonderland Wonderland <laughs> universe and uh, you have to control two characters um, at the same time sometimes 
to solve some puzzles. You have in, in this level we had to find some uh, bees, I think, six bees uh, to or, or five, I don't know, to get into the next level. Very cute. It looks very good, and all all the game can be seen. Even if you proceed to the next rooms, you can watch up and see all the the already um, finished rooms. That looks really cool. Um, down the rabbit hole, guys, and um, there will be some gameplay soon on my channel as well. Journey for Elysium, guys. This is the next game I tried, and this is a VR adventure with a story about a family, and we have to see some memories, we have to find stuff, we, we have to interact with the story, and this looks really cool. It's The, the level I tried was like uh, black and white and um, some objects are with colored like this a uh, rose here and we have to pick up stuff and finish the memories it's it's very interesting and i will show you the gameplay in this way i had to to film the monitor or the, the tv there was no other way but you will find this on my channel soon as well the Wizard's Dark Times is the next game I tried at Gamescom and this is a standalone add-on for the Wizards and it's totally immersive controls. So you can cast the fireball if you do this movement or you can do this movement then you have a shield, you can do this movement then you have a bow and arrow and you can rip it apart and then you have two ice swords or you can do force push it feels so great and it looks very very awesome as well so um we have to see how long the games i don't know but this is the recorded gameplay so i uh, will show you more information about this game on my channel soon the wizards dark times undead citadel guys so this is a VR action adventure with a lot of melee fights. I uh, tried it on the Oculus Rift with the 3D rudder. And um, this is really interesting because the, the enemies look very uh, nice. So that there are skeletons hunting you and you, you have to hit them um, not like, like this. You have to really hit it in the right way. You have to block stuff. And also the weapons can break. So if you always hit the enemy's weapon, if the enemies block your hits, then your weapon will break and you have to find a new one. Also you have to find potions and stuff. And it looks really, really great. This is what I recorded in the, in the, in the gameplay that is upcoming on my channel. I will zoom this, of course, so you can see it better. But there was no other way um, uh, instead of filming the monitor. So you can see the picture is, is a little bit blue, but this is how it actually looks. It's like a, a, a it's a fantasy environment and everything is, is shining blue. Very interesting. And uh, yeah, this is really awesome. Undead Citadel. The Walking Dead Onslaught, guys. Wow, this is so brutal. Look at this. I can grab the zombies with one hand and cut the head off with the other hand. <laughs> this is so crazy. And uh, this is the most brutal zombie um, game that I've ever played. So a lot of, of uh, gore and blood. But this is how I actually want a VR a zombie game in the Walking Dead universe because it's, it is brutal to slay zombies. You can also collect stuff, collect ammunition and, and uh, experience. You can level up and uh, collect new weapons. And the reloading is really cool. So uh, for the shotgun, you have to insert the magazine, then do like this to, to reload, like Terminator. <laughs> really cool. And um, I will show this gameplay on my channel soon as well. The Walking Dead on Slot. Then I tried Iron Man VR on the PlayStation VR and that was very impressive because you have 360 degree tracking. I did never see that on the PlayStation VR before. So if you turn around, there is no error message that you, that you left your tracking area. It works <clears throat> and <clears throat> as you can see here, and 
they, they work with uh, gyro sensors. So of course the the um, move controllers are not tracked anymore, but it works with the gyro sensors. So um, you can really fly around <clears throat> like Iron Man and use the thruster and use your fists and it's so cool. It's really cool. And uh, I played the demo. It was <clears throat> around 20 minutes and I had a lot of fun with that. I will show it on the channel as soon as it's available. At Vertigo Games, I had the chance to try the uh, upcoming DLC, The Damned of Arizona Sunshine and also After the Fall. So for Arizona Sunshine DLC, it's very good quality. It's, it's the same good quality like Arizona Sunshine. We have a pretty long um, DLC. I think it's longer than the last one and um, it's very good quality. But this is the same gameplay as we already know it from Arizona Sunshine, but in another another environment, another levels and stuff, some new tasks. And then I played After the Fall, as you can see here. I played it to, uh, with two people and you can play it up to four players. And it it feels like Arizona Sunshine, but with a little bit of Left for Dead um, part. So you can collect resources, you can go to a workbench and you can craft um, like... Um, additions to your weapon and like uh, you have a normal pistol and after you put some stuff on 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 this weapon you have uh, lightning shots and stuff really cool and it was also very brutal and it looks very good it's it's in a i think it's in los angeles and it's in an ice world in a, in a nuclear winter or, or how, however you call that and um i i'm really looking forward to that the graphics were totally awesome Unfortunately, it was not allowed to capture gameplay, so I cannot show this to you. And this is very sad because uh, I, I could really show you that because it's awesome. I don't know why they why they uh, do, don't allow that, but I'm totally looking forward to play this game. And I will show it on the channel after the fall and Arizona Sunshine, the damn DLC. So yeah, that was Gamescom 2019, guys. And I, to be honest, I was positive about this because um, as you perhaps know I'm playing a lot of Steam VR games also the crappy games and on Steam VR and uh, there's a lot of crap a lot of shit games and all the games that I tried on Gamescom were good quality I never expected that it's, it's really good and um, I think this is it, it's sad that it's only available in the business area but and the entertainment area, Sony had this very cool Iron Man VR booth that was that was impressive. So there was a little bit VR in the entertainment area as well. Also, Oculus had a booth there at HTC. <clears throat> and yeah, the most part was in the business area. It was cool. I was really um, impressed by the by the quality of the games. And I will show you more gameplays very soon. Um, problem is sometimes I had to record the monitor, sometimes I couldn't uh, implement my own comments because of the environment, it was so lo loud and stuff, we will see. However, I can show you some cool gameplays on the channel um, soon. That was Gamescom 2019. Next year I will also be at Gamescom as well because I really love this and it's very close to my location. Yeah, the Steam VR weekly sale is online. I, I didn't know that. Perhaps you already know it, but um, if you go on this page here, store.steambauer.power.com uh, slash sales slash, slash VR underscore specials, then you can find uh, some um, sales here every week and you can go here to all VR specials and here you see all the, the um, sales. For example, you can uh, buy Dirt Rally 2 for the half of the price and also Onward. There are a lot of cool games, so just check this page out every week you can perhaps find some very cool sales here on Steam. So perhaps you've been wondering what Oculus will announce on the upcoming Oculus Connect 6. So for me the Oculus Connect exhibitions are the, the most important VR um, parties or exhibitions how you ever call it uh, ever. So. Last year at the OC5, Oculus 
um, announced the Oculus Quest. I've been there in, in San Jose and it was really, really awesome. This is a very cool party and um, it's very important as well. And for now you could um, say that there is nothing more important because Oculus says the first generation is done with the, with the Go, with the Rift S and with the Quest. But Jason Rubin told us here in his tweet, we've got lots of big announcements coming. So this is very interesting. What does he mean with that? So obviously there, there's no new VR headset. Perhaps they will show something about the half dome. I don't, I don't know, but I think there will be a lot of new games um, that will be announced. Also, I know that there will be a lot of augmented reality by Oculus. However, we will see. I'm really, really looking forward to the Oculus Connect 6 in the middle of September 2019. Westworld Awakening was suddenly released by Servius and HBO Warner Brothers. And um, to be honest, I don't know the TV series. I have no idea what's that about, but I know that we are, that this is a narrative driven stealth exploration experience and um, we have a tablet we are in a I, I don't know it's it's a research facility or something like that and we have a tablet and we have got like powers to manipulate the world very interesting i got a key of this game and i will show it to you on my channel very soon one of the best VR games ever, Vanishing Realms, has a DLC now, The Sundered Rift. So, to be honest, I didn't expect that this is, uh, that you have to pay for that, because at the same time, the original game, Vanishing Realms, went out of early access. So, I thought that if you already own the, the game, that you will get the third and fourth chapter for free. But obviously, this is not the case. You have to pay for that. 12.49 or for now it's on sale for 9.99. However, guys, this is one of the best VR games ever. It's under my top 10 and um, I lost all my safe games. So I had to play to the beginning of chapter three from, from the start. So, uh, but I will show it soon on my channel and I'm really looking forward to that. Vanishing Rims, The Sundered Rift. I was a little bit surprised that Sony acquires Insomnia Games. This is interesting. I never expected that. I think all, Oculus also didn't expect that. And um, it means that the all the upcoming games will perhaps be PlayStation VR exclusive. This could really be the case because you know Sony is doing exclusive games. However, you know that Insomnia Games is currently producing Stormland and they already signed all the contracts with Oculus. So I don't think that Stormland will not come to the Oculus platform anymore. It will come. The question is, will it come to the PlayStation VR now? This is a good question. But I think if they already signed an exclusive contract with Oculus, it's not allowed to release it on PlayStation VR, yeah, even if the company belongs to Sony now. Very interesting. So what do you think about this deal? Is that good or is that bad? I really want to know it. Write it in the comments below. At the end, I want to tell you something about my project. I will have a new studio soon. You know that in this um, apartment where I'm currently now this will be much bigger i will have more space i will have an unboxing area talk area and stuff and this is uh progressing very good i everything is clear now there's not something standing around so um yeah, i have to paint the walls i have to rip off the carpet and do some new stuff there and this is a lot of work it will last for many weeks until this is ready but I can continue you, uh, doing my videos because in this room I can still record stuff without being disturbed by any works. So for now, for this week, thanks to my new sponsors, Andreas, Dara, Batman and me, Thomas and Ovid. Thank you so much for your support. And as you can see, we reached the first goal. We have 1000 bucks per month and that means that I can afford with this money, I can afford the rent of the apartment. 
very, very cool. So thank you so much. The second goal, I changed the second goal. So the second goal is now 3000 bucks per month. And that means if we reach this, every costs are covered. So as you know, I'm traveling a lot. I'm going to the United States so often. It's so expensive. And um, also the, the VR headsets I buy, I think like I, um, 95 of the VR headsets I own, I bought myself. And you know, this is ultra expensive. All the, uh, all the recording equipment like camera, PCs and stuff, it's brutal um, expensive. And for this, I need like a 3000 per month to cover all this. For now, I have to invest my own money that I earn from my normal job as an IT administrator that I'm working on eight hours per day. And after this, I'm doing the YouTube stuff. But for now, I have to invest most of my personally earned money from the other job to my YouTube stuff. And this sucks a little bit. It's very expensive. So the next goal is this one. The last goal will be 5,000 bucks. And then I can do a really cool VR test environment. That means I will have a very a, a big hall, something like that. And I will have a lot of different PC configurations um, that I can um, try some stuff with. For example, a low end PCs, mid end PCs and high end PCs with all the different headsets and uh, also equipment to do perfect reviews like um, um, constellations. I can record through the lens with uh, with holder and stuff that I can put on, on, on desks and everything will be at the same direction. And I can do very professional reviews then, but this is a long way to go guys, of course, and it will be also very expensive. So, however, um, first it was my goal to, um, do this YouTube stuff. Um, full time and then I would quit my normal job or do my normal job half time. But this idea I will not follow anymore. This is too risky. This The, the risk is too high for me. So um, I will not do that because in the last three years I could manage to do my normal job and also my YouTube job at the same time and I will just continue that. This is better for you and for me because there is no risk for me anymore and this is very, very good and this rises the chance that I can do this channel and my VR work forever. This is good for you and for me, I think. What do you think about this? <laughs> Write it in the comments below. However, thank you for watching and see you next time in virtual reality, guys. See ya. Voodoo.de